Strength matters in terms of relative strength when it comes to physical matchups. Let's take a look at some examples. We are going to take advantage of Robert Williams. Right here, we're going to take advantage of his relative strength advantage. Okay, shot goes up. We don't contest it in time, but there's a miss. And while we look like we're out of position, we're going to take advantage of our strength to just grab that rebound and take possession of the ball. In this situation right here, we're taking advantage of Williams' strength relative advantage. And that this is a really good matchup one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to hold down L2 to back down. And just constantly back down, back down. And then we're going to take the right analog stick and move it to the left because we want to go opposite shoulder. And we're able to get through there and power through for a nice layup right there. In this spot right here, we've got the ball with L. Horford. We're going to hold down the left button to set a screen. And that's going to give us a matchup inside on Clay Thompson. We're going to hold down the left or L2 button to bump inside and then let go and then push the right analog stick down and take advantage of our strength for a nice layup right there. We are going to take advantage of Al Horford's strength by setting a screen by holding down the left button or LB, L1. And now we want to change direction. So we're going to basically press the left analog stick in L3. And obviously Horford is a lot stronger than Steph Curry. As you can see right there, he just completely stops him. And that allows us to hold down R2 for the speed boost and then push the right analog stick down and finish with a nice layup right there. In this spot right here we're going to try to take advantage of Moses Brown number nine. We're going to hold down the left button to call for a screen. Okay. We're going to start moving just a little bit with Pritchard and then if you'll notice Moses Brown has his hand in the air. Well we're going to double tap the triangle button or the Y button for the Xbox One. And we're able to get a nice alley-oop finish right there, taking advantage of the matchup on Curry. In this spot right here, I have control of Al Horford. I'm going to use him to try to double-team. Well, actually, I'm just going for a block right there. Not smart, because I'm leaving Wiseman wide open. And, of course, yeah, Thompson's going to make that pass all day. Wiseman's wide open. Okay, we're going to come back, and we're going to try to contest. We're going to press that Y button to jump up. And because of that strength factor right there, we get just enough to stop it and uh, keep possession right there. Al Horford is positioned right here, and we're going to take a look at uh, what strength does in this situation right here. Okay, ball's coming in right away. Al Horford is actually beat because I used the center and I switched. But he's coming back. He's beat by Wiseman. Okay. Ball's inside. Wiseman has a good shot. Look at the contest by the strength right there and then on top of that he's able to box out and grab a rebound in traffic even though he's actually shorter but uh, that strength does play a role right there we want to score with Tatum but unfortunately Draymond Green is guarding us we're gonna hold down the left button to set a screen we're gonna go ahead and dribble to the right and then if you'll notice he uses his strength to block both the guys they're tied up we're going to hold on R2 to accelerate right there. And then we're going to push the right analog stick down and finish with a nice slam dunk right there. And of course, that's going to wrap this up. As always, for more tips on this game, be sure to check out the playlist on this channel. To make it easier to find, I'll put both the link in the description as well as the link in the comment section. Thanks for watching.